Hello, this tutorial is going to be focusing on importing and exporting raw data. And we're here on the main console, so I'll jump up to the Reports tab. And in the Reports tab, you'll see the side menu. We have a raw data uh, menu and submenus be beneath that. And let's just go ahead and talk about some of these. Raw data import, this is where you obviously would import the data. Um, uh, from your system into the survey manager. You can also use the question mapping import and this this allows you to map uh, the fields from a raw data file and map them to your survey or your questionnaire. And this is especially helpful if you're importing a data file that didn't originate from within the survey manager. Maybe you're bringing in a data file from another survey system or another, uh, another data system. Uh, and you would just use this question mapping process to map that data uh, file to your survey that you've designed. Uh, you can export your your data here, which is where we've come to by default. Uh, you can also export media files. Let's say your mobile phone or your m mobile survey device, be it a tablet or a phone, is capturing images or video or sound files. Well, you can do a batch export of those files. You can also access those files within uh, uh, your raw data itself, if you wish, or just export the, the media files themselves here. Another thing that's nice to know about is you can actually schedule your raw data export uh, and you can have these exported files attached to an email and you can schedule that for any interval you wish, daily, weekly, monthly, uh, and have them actually exported in any format you want, CSV, Excel, SPSS, and have them delivered to whomever you want, whenever you want. So that's uh, what you can do in this area. So why don't we go up here, we're in the export screen, so let's first select a survey type. We have all these multiple modalities you can select from. I'm going to select mobile phone, and then select my survey. I'm going to select sample iPhone survey. And now I can select all locations or individual locations to export. I'll just leave it at all. And here you'll see I have delimited by comma or by tab, fixed width, uh, a dot .sav, which is the S. PSS format extension, Excel or CSV options. I can also export the completed surveys and it tells me right there I have 585 in this file. Or incomplete surveys only or both combined. So those are the export options there. This is important note. If you plan to import the data you are now exporting back into the survey manager, you should use the delimited by comma format only. And that is the default format it, it is selected by default here. And um, so why would you do that? Well, let's say you wanted to export your raw data file, make some changes, and import it back in before you run your report. That's, that's certainly an option. But let me just mention here that there is another option available to you. If you run a respondent level report, there is a feature called edit response. You can also delete responses um, within that report. So you can actually, within the report itself, make edits or delete individual surveys without having to export your data file. So I just want to make sure you're aware of that option uh, within the respondent level report. And down here, the raw data schema simply explains, if you click on that, uh, a PDF file will open uh, giving you an explanation of how we organize our raw data. So I'm just going to go down and click in the bottom right corner the export button, which is now exporting this uh, raw data file uh, delimited by comma. And here, the click here link will then open or save that file in my system. Okay, so let's say we've exported that and edited it, and now we want to import that file back in. So I'd click on the raw data import, which is what I've done now. I'd select my survey type, and we were working with a mobile phone survey type, and we're working with sample iPhone survey. And I'm going to select a location here to bring that data in, and I'm going to browse my system. It was saved to my desktop. Let's see here, details. There it is, and I'm going to import that. Now I can click this checkbox if I want to preview the data before saving it. Um, and I can also say, hey, I'm importing completed or incomplete surveys. So I'm just going to import this, and the system is processing that data now.
and it confirms data imported successfully. So that's the simple method of exporting uh, a raw data file in a comma delimited format and importing that file back into the system after making edits. And you'll see here it does indicate .txt or XML formats. So this is important to note. If you're exporting a file uh, and making edits, you can bring it in in either of those two formats. Also, our mobile survey devices, raw data by uh, default are saved in XML format. So if you were importing a data file from a kiosk or from a mobile survey device, you would use the XML file extension to bring it into the system. Okay, so let's take a look now at question mapping. So again, let's uh, assume we're bringing data into the survey manager from uh, another system. Uh, that data file didn't originate within the survey manager. So I would come here, I would um, select my, let's just stay with the same survey type for the sake of consistency. I'm going to actually stay with the same survey itself. Um, select a location, let's say clinic one. I want to bring in this data file from uh, outside the system. So I would go ahead and browse my system for that data file and let's go details, uh, uh, sample iPhone survey. Okay, so here's my uh, file and I selected an Excel, an Excel file. Uh, and you'll see here we support CSV, text, XLS, or XLSX. Um, one important note, if you're selecting CSV, that's comma delimited. And if your question text has commas in, let's say a question has a comma in it, uh, it's a lengthy uh, sentence with a comma in the sentence, you're going to want to remove that comma because the system's going to assume that the break uh, is after the comma, meaning the next question starts after that comma. So be careful with your commas when importing data from a CSV file. Other files, extensions like X, Excel, you don't need to worry about that. Only in the comma delimited format will you need to really be careful uh, when you have commas within the sentences of your questionnaire. Okay, so I'm going to uh, import completed survey option. Um, my file does include a header row, and I always recommend your data files to have header rows because that's how the system, as you'll see in a second, reads the data. It looks for that header row to identify the individual questions. And was your data file exported from the survey manager, yes or no? Uh, my file was, so I'll inca indicate yes. So I'm going to import, and here is where you see the mapping occur. So the text in red is reading from your data file. Okay, The drop-downs are reading from the survey itself that you designed in the survey manager. And let me mention something here. We're assuming you've gone into the survey module in the survey manager and gone through the create survey wizard to first design your survey instrument before obviously trying to import a data file that's going to be mapped or associated with that survey. And that's what you see here in the drop-down. We have all the different questions in your survey that uh, you've created in the survey manager. Okay, And so that's all these individual drop-downs uh, beneath the red text, which is being read in from your file uh, that you're importing. And the system attempts to map for you, which it's done here, which of the following age groups do you fit into? So that's the question in my data file. And sure enough, it mapped it correctly to the actual survey questions. So it will try and guess uh, for you um, and map for you, which it seems to have done correctly here. Question 9, question 9, 10, 10, 11, uh, 12. Now, if it didn't, um, it would just have uh, uh, select label or do not import option appearing. So if I didn't want to import this question, I would just select do not import. But I do want to, so I'm going to leave it back on question 10. Oh, I'm sorry, 12. Now below we have date and time, and I do want uh, that data to be brought into the system as well. So I'm going to leave that there. Um, but, you know, if the system 
misinterpreted one of your questions, you would just simply click on the down arrow and map to the correct question uh, in your survey. Okay, so assuming everything is mapped correctly, I uh, just go ahead and click Submit, and now the system is importing and mapping that data file to my survey. And that's, and here we have a, a confirmation data imported successfully. So this is uh, how you use the import mapping, uh, uh, the question mapping import feature to bring in data files from without the survey manager and associate them with your surveys designed within the survey manager. Okay, this concludes the uh, tutorial. Thanks for your time. Bye-bye.